Hi, this is the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, today we're going to talk about um, uh, ICX Campus Fabric, and in particular we're going to talk about interactive setup for, uh, for Campus Fabric. So, in a recent video, uh, we talked about zero-touch provisioning, um, and so this is interactive setup, so, that, so the difference is zero-touch provisioning you know, basically with a couple of commands on the uh, control bridge, sets up everything for you, it chooses the PE numbers, etc. Um, with interactive, we have the ability to, um, you know, specify what those PEs are. So if we don't want to use, say, the default PE numbers of 17, 18, etc., we can choose to change those on the fly. Uh, and again, it only takes a couple of commands. And, you know, you can rerun interactive setup as you add a new PE and you want to add it into your uh, infrastructure. So we'll see how easy that is to set up. So what we're going to build today is, uh, again, 7750 is your control bridge. Uh, and then for PEs or port extenders, we're using a 7450 uh, and a 7150 compact and then a 7150 48 port PoE device. Um, now, a couple of these are actually linked together, and so we should see that uh, in the discovery. It should discover that that loop, if you will, and, uh, and and configure that for us. So, let's hop over to the to the terminal, and we'll see what's happening. So, I'm on my 7750, right? So, uh, a couple things we got to do. First thing we have to do: go into config T. We have to turn on LLDP. So, LLDP run. To turn on link layer discovery protocol, um, so big part of of, um, of SPX or 802.1br is to use LLDP. Um, so we need to turn that on. So that's how it's going to discover its neighbors. Then we do um, an SPX CB enable. So this turns on the control bridge, right? So it says it's now an 802.1br control bridge. If I was running spanning tree on this router, it would have um, asked to reload. So that's a one-time reload, but uh, in this case, we're not. So we have uh, we have it in control bridge mode. Um, and then we have to add our SPX ports. So we do an SPX CB-configure, put us in configuration mode. And within that mode, there's a few things we could do, add uh, lags, add PEIDs, etc. But really all we're going to do here is add our SPX ports. So which ports on our device are connected to a PE or a, a potential PE at least, right? So we'll do 111, 112, and then I'm going to also do uh, a 40 gig port. So 1 slash 2 slash 1. So I've got my three ports. So look at the configuration. I've got control bridge enabled, and under configuration, I've got SPX ports uh, 1, 2, and 2, 1 configured, right? Nothing else on this device. It's basically just the, you know, the default plus LDP run is turned on. So now I can drop out of here and do an SPX uh, interactive setup. So interactive dash setup. And then it asks you, do you want to change the IDs? Do you want to convert, uh, discover and convert new units or discover and convert existing or new standalone units? So we're going to do number two. We're going to discover and convert new units to PEs. So it's going to go out and probe the topology, right? So it uses LDP or uh, an extension of LDP to uh, probe those devices and find out who's out there. And so here it's come back. Uh, let me just scroll up a little bit. It's come back and it's saying, you know, number one here, it's discovered a 7450-24P. So we know that. Here's its MAC address. We've discovered the 7150 compact. And if you see the way that they're cabled together, I told you there was a loop configured there. And it actually found that loop, right? And it's going to configure it. So now, these numbers in the boxes will change, these PE numbers. They're using 1, 2, and 3 for now, but it's going to convert those in a second. So, this is one chain, uh, and these numbers, oh, so this is 1, 2, 1 of my 7750, 1, 1, 1 of my 7150. So, these are the ends of those chains belong to the 7750, 
right? These are the PEs or the or the potential PEs. And then in the second chain, we've got a 7150-48P, uh, which is on 7750's port 112, connected to um, uh, 3-1 here, uh, or 3 through 1. So, uh, scroll down again. Uh, so it says, you know, do you want to select this for, for chain zero? Because it's gonna, we're gonna do each chain, right? There's two chains, um, and then it wants to know what what your uh, what IDs you want to use. So default is 17. We'll change that though, just out of interest. So we'll use 20, um, and then it's numerically it's gonna go 21. It would have been 18 otherwise, but we'll say 21. That's fine. And then on our second chain. Uh, oh, sorry. And then it's just saying, are you sure you want to do this? Right. So here's going to be your port numbers. 20 uh, slash 3 slash 1, 21 slash 3 slash 1, etc. Right. So um, it's just saying this is what your topology is going to look like. Are you OK with it? So we'll say yes. And then here's chain 1. Um, and uh, so we want to also convert chain 1. The default is 23. And we'll use 22 just to keep them numerical. Uh, so now it is going to look like this. So the port number is going to be like 22 slash 3 slash 1 connected to 7750s 1 slash 1 slash 2. So are you okay with that? We'll say yes. And the next thing it's going to do is it's going to send a reload to all of those devices, um, put them into PE mode, and then add into the configuration of the 7750 the rest of the configuration that it needs. So. Those are not done yet, uh, so we're going to have to wait till those reload and come back up into PE mode before we can see anything. So we'll uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so <clears throat> looks like the system's back. Took a couple of minutes to reload those devices and put them into PE mode, uh, but you see 21 come up here, uh, or you know PE 21, uh, PE 22 comes up. And then lastly, PE20 comes up. So um, those should all be up and running. If we look in the configuration now with a show run, I now see stack unit one. So this is the 7750, right? And you could have multiple 7750s, of course, in here, but I only have one right now. And then we have SPX20, which is a 7450. And here's its modules, its SPX ports on the other end. 21 with its modules and its SPX ports, and then uh, 22 with the modules and the uh, the single SPX port. Uh, and then it's also added the PE IDs into here, right? So um, out port 111, we've got 21, um, port 20, and those are uh, connected in the in the chain, if you will. And then on 112, we have 22. So uh, with a show SPX. We see all of our new units, what type they are, um, that they're all in a ready state, and then we see the physical topology. So um, that's pretty easy. Uh, works as easy as that. And, and when you add a new unit, then you can just run that interactive setup again to add the new, to have it discovered and add the new unit into the topology. Um, okay, so easy as that. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Take care.